FIFA World Cup by Scroll Staff published yesterday 6.27 p.m. Demeter D-I-L-K-O-F-F-A-F-P Scroll Staff share tweet email Reddit print share tweet email Reddit print Can Argentina still qualify for the last 16 of the World Cup? This was a popular search term on Google after Lionel Messi and co suffered a horrendous 0-3 loss to Croatia in their second group stage game on Thursday. After a 1-1 draw with Iceland in the first, Argentina are now in a tight spot as they might have to return home from Russia very early. But all is not lost as mathematically, Argentina can still qualify for the knockout stages. The last round of matches will see Argentina face Nigeria in a must-win match while Iceland will take on Croatia. Croatia sit at the top of Group D with six points and have sealed their passage to the next round. Iceland have one point, the same as Argentina, and Nigeria have no points but both teams have a game in hand on the South Americans. Here's what last edition's runners-up have to do, and hope other teams also do, reach the next stage. Hope Iceland draw or lose against Croatia, and Nigeria beat Iceland then beat Nigeria themselves or beat Nigeria and hope Iceland lose to Croatia and have a worse goal difference. Yes, complicated. But for now all eyes in Argentina, and a large part of the world, will be on the match between Iceland and Nigeria later on Friday. The points table before Iceland versus Nigeria, let's break the scenarios down. If Iceland beat Nigeria, they will have 4 points to Argentina's 1. Messi and co will need a win in their last match to get to 4 and hope Iceland then lose to Croatia and they score enough to have a better goal difference than Iceland. If Iceland and Nigeria draw, the World Cup debutants will be on 2 points and Argentina will need a win in their last match to reach 4 and hope Iceland draw or lose against Croatia to remain static. If Nigeria beats Iceland, Argentina and Iceland will both be on 1 point. Sampoli's men will still need a win in their last match and hope that either Croatia beat or draw Iceland so that the Nordic nation's tally doesn't increase. Would essentially have to better Iceland's result in their final match while improving the GD is needed. If Iceland lose to Nigeria but beat Croatia in the next round of games, Argentina will need a win in their last match and hope to have a better goal difference than Iceland. This is going to be one interesting match. Support our journalism by subscribing to Scroll here. We welcome your comments at letters at scroll.in. Argentina FIFA World Cup Lionel Messi sponsored content by published June 12, 2018 327 AM Share tweet email Reddit print Share tweet email Reddit print Vikas Dimri made a huge attempt last year to climb the Mount Everest. Fate had other plans. Thwarted by unfavorable weather at the last minute, he came so close and yet not close enough to say he was at the top. But that did not deter him. Vikas is back on the Everest Trail now, and this time he's sharing his experiences at every leg of the journey. The Everest journey began from the Lukla airport known for its dicey landing conditions. It reminded him of the failed expedition, but he still moved on to Namche Bazaar, the staging point for Everest expeditions, with a positive mind. Vikas let the wisdom of the mountains guide him as he battled doubt and memories of the previous expedition. In his words, the Everest taught him that, to conquer our personal Everest, we need to drop all our unnecessary baggage, be it physical or mental or even emotional. Vikas used a descent for ascent approach to acclimatize. In this approach, mountaineers gain altitude during the day, but descend to catch some sleep. Acclimatizing to such high altitudes is crucial as the lack of adequate oxygen can cause dizziness, nausea, headache and even muscle death. As Vikas prepared to scale the riskiest part of the climb, the unstable and continuously melting Kumbu ice fall, he pondered over his journey so far. His brother's diagnosis of a heart condition in his youth was a wake-up call for the rather sedentary Vikas, and that is when he started focusing on his health more. For the first time in his life, he began to appreciate the power of nutrition and experimented with different diets and supplements for their health benefits. His quest for better health also motivated him to take up hiking, marathon running, squash and, eventually, a summit of the Everest.
Back in the Himalayas, after a string of sleepless nights, the Khas and his team ascended to Camp 2, 6,500 meters, as planned, and then descended to base camp for the basic luxuries, hot shower, hot lunch and essential supplements. Back up at Camp 2, the weather played spoiler again as a jet stream, a fast-flowing, narrow air current, moved right over the mountain. Wisdom from the mountains helped the cause maintain perspective as they were required to descend 15 kilometers to Farish Valley. He accepted that, strength lies not merely in chasing the big dream, but also in, accepting that, things could go wrong. At Camp 4, 8,000 meters, famously known as the Death Zone, Bacos caught a clear glimpse of the summit, his dream standing rather tall in front of him. It was the 18th of May 2018 and Vikas finally reached the top. The top of his Everest, dot the top of Mount Everest, watch the video below to see actual moments from Bacos climb. Vikas credits his strength to dedication, exercise and a healthy diet. He credits dietary supplements for helping him sustain himself in the inhuman conditions on Mount Everest. On heights like these where the oxygen supply drops to one-third road the levels on the ground, the body requires three times the regular blood volume to pump the requisite amount of oxygen. He, thus, doesn't embark on an expedition without double-checking his supplements and uses Livagen as an aid to maintain adequate amounts of iron in his blood. Livagen is proud to have supported Vikas Dimri on his ambitious quest and salutes his spirit. To read more about the benefits of iron, see here. To read Vikas Dimri's account of his expedition, click here. This article was produced by the Scroll Marketing Team on behalf of Livagen and not by the Scroll Editorial Team.